I think this episode is going to be the pop-off episode. We're going to have our actual first serious fight. Iki versus Kiriari. Does that mean that Iki versus Stella in the first episode was not a real fight? Ah, it was like a little exhibition match, right? I hope that he fucking beats his ass. But he said that Iki kind of lost last year or something. I think it's because of something about getting disqualified or something. But there's no way he loses with Ito Ishida, right? Dude, did you see how he was coming down and his eyes were just moving like Madara saying like, I only don't even need color recognition. I have no clue what's really going on. But let's begin today's reaction. Yeah. Oh god, here we go. Here, here we go. Some some booty cheeks and there they are, the two gigantic plots we see every episode. Hmm. Hey, I feel like you shouldn't be in the change room with the fucking camera. Why would you drop your camera? No, sorry. I was gonna say, why did you drop your fucking towel immediately? But it's like because she fell down. What's Alice doing here? Alice was in the fucking male bathroom last episode. You can't. All right, you know what? You can just interchangeably go into whatever bathroom there is. This piece of shit. How could he lose a duel here, though? I'm, like, if he has Ito Shura right now. Plant? Oh, oh, I didn't read. Arrow. Oh, it's a bow. This piece of shit. So she just. Got a couple attacks in like this, and he just refused to fight, basically. That's it, okay. He didn't really retaliate. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. See, it's circumstantial, right? He could have definitely won. So, like, he didn't get punished either, though. Iki didn't get punished because he didn't retaliate, but the guy that's instigating and shooting the fucking arrow at them didn't get punished? <laughs> what is that logic? Well, I, you know, the chairman back then didn't give a fuck, right? Who's used to getting hurt? Like, literally or metaphorically? I think he's implying, like, you've been on this path of, you know, the solitude to overcome these natural disadvantages he has from birth. So he's okay with just taking all the L's and suffering by himself. That's a, kind of a good thing that he can kind of cope with it, right? Where's the psychoanalysis coming from? Someone will one day appear. Isn't that Stella? That's Stella, right? It's gotta be Stella. Uh. Oh, it's the girl that was casually talking to the director. She must be super important. I mean, just based off of her design too, right? Look at this shit. Saikyo Nene. Saikyo? Isn't that mean like the strongest? The demon princess of the cock? <laughs> You can't do that, okay, okay? <laughs> She's part of the cock league! She's the strongest cock leaguer! Undefeated in the cock league! Huh? Fan service time? I don't think Stella would be very pleased, but uh... Hmm. I reflect almost, jeez. Is that director super strong then? Probably, yeah. Dude, his entire like prep is just remembering old bitter memories. It's time to pop off. This is everything that he's worked for. Yeah, this piece of shit. Like it, this is gonna be so good. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Why is he having a panic attack? Here we go. The great arena. Everybody is watching. We got a commentator. Oh, the big screen. Oh, this is gonna be good. But I'm just a bit worried on the panic attack Iki was having. Pussy ass archer. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Dude, I can't wait for this piece of his face to just like twist. What is he doing? What the way? Oh, what? That's his power. He just starts playing the piano for a bit, starts sweating, and then does a little pose, and then force just comes out. Alright. But yeah, he, he can just. Even if the presence isn't found, he should be able to react to all these different bullets. I don't know how he's doing it, but. The attacks doesn't affect him as much. Yeah, you just look at the source of the web, the attack, and you just chase him down. 
もしかして黒金くんは本気で僕に勝つつもりなのかな What is that? Are you trying to win, perhaps? No fucking shit, dude! I guess compared to the past where he didn't fight, it's a contrast. Huh. Why? Mind game. But that was the right die. Oh, shit. Wait, that's actually a lot of damage. These are so much fat. We don't see the yellow bullets anymore. We, the arrows, right? That was just like instantaneous. So obviously he's gotten some stronger attacks, yeah. Other things. So even the attacks are invisible now. That's pretty OP. Because the only counter was looking at where the arrow was coming from and then tracking it. But if that arrow itself is invisible, then... What do you do? And you can't really, like... You can't really sense his perception either because of his power. A quick attack. Just ended immediately, yeah. That's kind of true, but if they did that, then it wouldn't be hype, you know? Then, then we wouldn't be as entertained if fucking he just went Ito Shiro and just, like, cut his head off. Like, no. Nervous. He was having, like, a panic attack. No, he was having an actual just panic attack. Maybe Stella has to like yell and reach out and be like, Go Iki! And then Iki will be like, Oh, there is somebody I can lean on and be, I don't know, some kind of main character plot armor kicks in. You know, why doesn't Kiriata just shoot him in the head and just get over with it? What is stop? I guess you could say that he's just torturing him, yeah? Hmm? A condition? I, this is new. If you don't win the tournament, you can't graduate at all. No, but that's why he's gonna win, because everybody's looking down, right? This kind of mockery, even though it makes your blood fucking boil, everybody looks down on you. This is the perfect recipe towards building up hype, so that when he pops up, everyone's gonna be like, holy shit, the worst one did it. This F Frank guy fucking won. It wasn't a fluke? I, what do you mean? Yuki. Stella, get in. Nah, he'll be good. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be. That looks pretty fucking bad, though. Holy shit. Bro is dead. Look at this. He's taking like 20 different hits. These students all need to fucking die. Are, are you serious? This is so fucking trash. Ho like, even worse than the Reign of the Seven Spellblades students. Yo, that's what Nana also did. I love. This is beyond what I thought Stella would do. Holy shit. Fuck that guy. Dude, even Shizuku's like, yep, this is the time to be silent and just let her go off. He's good. That's just like, you know, smacking himself to get back, right? Itoshura, come on! Yes, of course! Haven't you watched anime before? Don't... Hearing? Can you, can you hear the arrow? If you can't see it, just listen to it. Bro, you shouldn't use it in the beginning! I can't believe the sub just said that. That's kind of wild. Times were back. Times were different back then. The tone of his voice, just all hearing, right? Hmm? What? Oh, he just straight up caught it! Bro is invisible by, by the way. Like, we can't even see him. We're just fucking just hearing, kind of like sensing it. It's over. It's over. As soon as this soundtrack started playing, it was fucking over. I can't wait to look at his face when he loses, man. That confident, twisted look, I want that shit to just go away. Cut his head off! How far can they go with the duels, right? Because, like, technically, couldn't she, like, literally kill somebody? What the fuck is that? That's like, um... Oh, yeah, he can copy. Blade steel, just perfect vision. 
Actual downloaded. The longer the match goes on, it is kind of is cheating, but the says the guy who's fucking invisible, dude. You, how can you say this is cheating when your entire power is being invisible? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, that's a lot of fucking bullets, so it doesn't matter to him, though. Oh, dude, this is getting so good. Come on. Bro, he's actually just crawling now. Rock, paper, scissors in my ass, dude. Friends? Dude, the amount of backtracking is insane. No, just kill him. Just kill him. Cut his head off. I don't give a fuck. Castrate him. Where did it hit, though? Where did it hit, though? Oh, come on, man. You gotta just graze his nose like that. <laughs> ah, it is what it is. He's a good guy. Iki's too much of a good guy, bro. I would have just went straight for his fucking dick there. The entire audience, by the way, is chanting, Worst one, worst one. It was just a fluke, but let's see how they kind of. There's some cheers, yeah? What about Iki's injuries? Did all those arrow hits mean nothing? Ah, nah, um, no, I would say that this is him passing out from using Ito Shura. Yeah, and this is just the selection match. It's not even like the actual, like, big tournament. Oh, she slipped by the bedside. So worried. Oh, I wasn't really worried. I only got up and fucking screeched at the entire stadium. That was an amazing speech, by the way. Episode 4 Confession. Yeah? Yeah? Damn, uh, they're not fucking around with the romance here. They're just going into it. Here comes the smooch. See, look at the petals, man. It's just basically showing them. Boom. On the cheek! I will take that. Man, Shizuku probably outside crying right now if she saw this. Don't misunderstand anything. It's not like I kissed you because I like you or anything. Like, what do you mean? Okay, she's just saying, you know, I actually wanted to do it. You're not forcing me to. Okay, okay, okay. Aww. You know, this show is delivering on a lot of hype from the, just like the, the fights. But the romance, dude, this is coming out of nowhere. No, it's not coming out of nowhere. It's been there since episode one. They've been very upfront about it. Maybe they would fight each other at the end? Oh, shit. Really? It'd be a good book close, because it started by Stella and him fighting. Final match of the season, or is the source material be them? This show got the formula for hype done right. First, you have after an OP character that everyone looks down on, but he's actually secretly OP. Because the way that they measure a person's OPness is not defined by what the, you know, the main character has, right? And then, while everyone looks down on him, he continues to take down one by one while being the lowest rank and the fucking crowd loses it. Oh, and they get us riled up with the shitty little villain here just looking like, oh, he's just talking so much shit. And at the end, as soon as the fucking Ito Shiro soundtrack started playing, his entire demeanor changes, right? To the point where he's fucking crying. He's like, I don't want to feel pain. What a pussy ass bitch. The craziest line was, oh, that's not fair. While the bro is invisible. The dude, he, the Iki had to fucking like download him by doing all these image training, all this past to the point where he can like understand how a person can fight. Therefore, using that experience and then adapting his body to it to fight. You can say that's kind of bullshit, but at least he put in a lot of work. What the fuck did this archer dude do? He just fucking he plays the piano for a bit, the forest comes and he goes invisible and that's it. What a pussy ass bitch, but this is just a prelims, right? And he was just a C rank knight. There's gonna be much better fights and damn, this is gonna be good. I think Saikyo Nene was really interesting character. I'm sure she might be like a really OP character we might find in the future, but at the end there with the foreshadowing with Stella. Now I hear that you guys told me that this is only one season and there's like plenty more materials to adapt on. So we'll probably not get there, but for like a one season and done episode, uh, sorry. For this series to have one season, I hear the conclusion was pretty good, so it is what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.